Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is a 14 part video series showing you how to create a coffee shop. Let's get started. So let's open a new architecture template. And let's wait for this to start. And when it started, uh, we could just leave it on level one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in our grid lines. So you can go to your architecture and then click on grid line or type in GR. And then here we're going to go below to up. So we're going to create number one. So this is our vertical. You can press escape and then click it again. And then we could use copy or CO. And then make sure multiply is checked. And then we're going to click it again and then move it on the right side. So it will be 3000. So type in 3000. And then after that, 2700. So we have one, two, and three, all done. Now let's do our horizontal. So you can click here again, and let's go from right to left. And then press escape multiple times. And then just zoom in and click on the grid bubble. So I click it twice, and then now we're just going to type in capital A and then click on the outside here on the space. Zoom out and then click it again. And then now we could click copy again and then make sure multiple is checked. So it's already checked. And then click it back and drop it down. So this one will be 5200. Next will be 2900. And then last is 2850. And as you can see, press escape multiple times. And as you can see, it created B, C, and D. So Revit is very smart in regards to that. Now we have this excess lines and it's very long. If you click on it, if you zoom in, there is those dash line and that dash line indicates that once you move one of this, it will move on all of them. So it will be easier for us to change that. So now, as you can see, it moves and then we're going to click it here again and there's a dash line again and then it will move as well. What we could do is we could highlight everything and just drag it on the middle so that everything is viewed from our elevation viewport. So these are like elevation tags that we could see and then press escape. And then now let's type in DI or this align dimension. And then now we're going to click on dimensions on all of the grid lines like this. And then after that, you want to make sure to create an overall as well. Let's do it here on our horizontal grid line. And then click the overall. Something like that. Then press escape and then escape again. And let's go to our south elevation. And then here we're just going to click 3500 right here from level one to level two. So we're good with that. Go back to level one. And then here we're going to start adding our walls. So first, let's go to architecture, 
click on wall and then here we're going to use generic 200 millimeters you could use whatever um, for like um, for Revit 2021 2022 uh, I believe you don't have generic model 200 millimeters or any generic you could use one of this and then just delete whatever's inside so same sim similar to this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit and then duplicate this will be exterior wall number one and then edit and then you start deleting right here after that you won't be able to delete the structure core boundaries and then just delete right there so start at the top delete from there and then after that for the thickness uh, let's leave it at 150 will be good and then for material let's use clad white press ok and then ok and then ok now before you add anything here you want to make sure that this is wall center line chained and then for the height it should be up to level 2 so base will be level 1 and then top constraint to level 2 after that we just need to create from a1 to a3 going down to a to d3 and then d1 and then a1 again you can even do this very fast by just clicking it again and then using rectangular and you want to make sure everything is the same so most of the time I just use the line because sometimes we need to go a bit on the outside or inner so it has more um, corners but as, at the moment we're creating a coffee shop and then it's just a simple rectangle and then after that let's click on the wall again and then let's edit this type and then duplicate this will be interior wall number one and you want to make sure to change the materials so I'm just going to use a gypsum wallboard for now and then here we're going to add it here on B1 to B2 and then C2 to C1 press escape and then escape again so we have our model right here like this so we're going to add the same wall the interior wall right about in the middle and we want to see how much it is right here so that's good enough we could make this actually at 1600 and then after that what you want to do is click on the wall again and then just uh, add a wall in the middle like so press escape and then escape again here we're gonna have a breakage here so I'm just gonna drag it back like this and then we have some opening here um, what we could do is we could add a storage here as well and a storage here as well so either way we could add different ones for now let's just put it back the way it is um, we could access it through 
on this area. So next thing, I want to insert the toilet. So I'm just going to go to insert, load family, and then go to plumbing, go to architecture, and then fixtures, and then water closet. And we're going to add in toilet domestic 2D. And then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in CM. So it's just an easy way of adding. And then after that, let's load in the sink. So let's go back to fixtures and then go to sink. And then let's add in some vanity. I'm going to use the square. Click open and then type in CM and then add it on this side. Once you add it, you can click it again and then use your arrow key so that you could place it somewhere like that. You can space it out. Um, the purpose of me uh, just typing CM is so that we could uh, remove the, the steps of clicking architecture and then clicking component. And then for you to look for all of this. And then once you load a lot of things, it's going to be harder for you to look at it. So the, the purpose of me doing that is once I load something in, I type in CM and it's a lot faster. So now I'm going to insert a door. So load family and then let's go back to the main. So let's go to here and then click on doors. And then let's just use a residential door and let's use this single interior one panel wood. Click open. And then what I do is I just load everything. So what you do is click on the top of here and then you could zoom down or scroll down and then hold on shift and then click on the bottom and then it will highlight everything and then press OK. And then you just need to click on yes. You want to load everything. And then once you load everything, you can then type in DR or door under architecture. And then here, let's put this one around 750 to 2000. So 2000 is the height and then 750 is the um, width. So here, I'm just going to flip it on the other side like this and then just click it right there. And I will be fine. And then for here, I'm just going to click here and just going to pull this down. And then I'm going to click here for the door and then type in CS. That's basically create similar. So what you what it does is it tells uh, Revit that you want to add the same thing. So instead of copying, at least you can put it wherever you want. If you put a copy, it will basically have a constraint. So here I'll be, be able to just add it right here on this spot and then make this all um, storage area. So here, uh, in order for me to show this as a storage, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to annotate and click on detail. Uh, 10 lines is good for now. And then here, I'm just going to add a line right here. And then click on the line again. And then we could use demolish and then pick line. And maybe around offset to 20. 
or let's do it at 100 something like that and I'm good with this and then TR that's trim and extend under modifier this is basically the the icon for that and then we're basically it's just like a fillet in AutoCAD so I'm adding that detail so that they will see that this is all shelvings or storage area and we could basically add in some information right here or room tags so my idea here is basically this will be the front entrance we have the counter right here and then we have some seating right here on the side and here we could have some lounges and then some um, more seating here and in the in front probably a bar type facing outside so thank you for watching and i hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below